Hey guys, Thomas the Solid Jr. here, aka Mustache Tom, here to review the movie The Last Boy. So I came across this and decided to check it out, and here is my review. So the movie begins with cutting from various locations, laying out of snow that it is this sort of post apocalyptic world, and it has some weird text. And we meet our main character, this boy whose name is Sarah. He holds onto him a strange device on this little boat. And when he arrives back to his mom, she claims that she is not going to have long to live, as she was infected by someone, apparently, according to her, and that she is going to pass out soon, or and die from the, whatever it is that's happening to her. So she has him go over this route, uh, and tells him that, the water is a good thing, and the wind is a bad thing, apparently. So, as the night progresses, uh, and the next day comes about, his mother passes away. So he checks on her in what appears to be some sort of infection or some sort, and ends up heading out. So he starts to look at this weird scanner that he has, and uh, these little wave things pass by. I assume this is the wind first, at first glance. And he makes his way to the first rest stop where he comes across this little haystack, and he moves on the next day. When he does, he meets this girl. She is Lily. And she decides that she wants to travel along with Sira. So the two kids come together and they are moving towards this place that apparently can, <clears throat> that apparently can grant wishes. Literally is what they are, what he literally says is that there's a place that they can go to look for wishes. So, as the two of them move along, they see that a group of women. Oh, sorry, I cut ahead. Uh, they see that this wind is able to take somebody by turning them into what appears to be some sort of statue. And we see this. So, as they are traveling, he goes over what they are going to do. Then we cut to these two, these several women, and this hooded man figure, and the women are holding these baskets of seemingly held with water. So, as they are traveling, they come across the wind that travels towards them, and the woman surrounds the man, and they are able to block the wind. Uh, and eventually, the this group comes across the two children, and they bring the kids into their little church. So the man has them lose their little kid, their little bags, and uh, his device are put are uh, sent away as the two of them are locked in. So Sierra ends up joining this old lady and. Uh, sorry, just this lady, and they uh, join the man that was cloaked, and we see more of him. So, he talks about how the water was able to block the wind, and how that all came together, but he wants to learn how to use the device for more protection, I assume. So, when the boy doesn't step up to provide any answers, they end up going outside, and they send uh, Lily off into this little like flagpole where the man pushes a button, and this noise apparently is what can alert the wind, and it sends it back. So, uh, Sierra protects her with, her with this device. It's able to block the wind somehow. And when they see that um, the man is out there with the device, uh, 
the woman turns back the sound and the uh, wind comes back and turns the man into a statue. So afterwards, uh, the main priest lady talk apologizes to uh, Lily for what they had her do. So she starts to explain to her, uh, that being Lily, explain to this woman that she wants her father back. And she's trying to understand this whole wish hole thing that's going on. So the kids head out on their own. We then cut to a van of a soldier man who's riding away from the wind. And he ends up rolling out and shooting near his uh, vehicle as the wind once again travels near the noise and he's able to escape. So the man starts to look around this house and he sees this little pile of dust and begins to cry. But he does proceed to see the kids traveling. And uh, Lily is wondering why the, this wind does not chase the animals in which none of, neither of them have an answer to. But we see then it cut to a woman running along. And they see the woman went running and uh, Sira uses his device to help her out and the army man, the soldier man, sees this and the four of them now decide to join up. As they make way, their way towards another, another house, uh, Sira is like chilling with Lily and she's like reading some rhyme book. So the army man begins to explain where he was uh, and what he's trying to do, look for his wife. And she says that she's some sort of teacher uh, that is more in the scientific realm and was trying to understand what was happening. And he is more of a religious man and a soldier as well. So, the kids are de brought down for a longer talk. And the scientist lady wants to look at the scanner, and uh, he explains that he is able to align the scanner, and that is somehow able to stop the wind. Uh, the man, the soldier man, admits to killing somebody, and then they go off to bed, when, in which the uh, adults say that they both kind of want to join the boy, uh, Sarah, for different reasons. So, uh, the wind surrounds their the house that they are in, but they are able to ward it off once again with the boy's help, Sarah's help. So, they start to say that they want to go to the city, uh, or near it enough. Uh, and Sierra is the most reluctant to go because apparently his device cannot apparently pick up and fend off uh, the wind in this sort of area. But as he's starting to go off on his own, he sees the three starting to travel into the city regardless, and he ends up joining them, seeing uh, Lily look, primarily looking at her. So the adults proceed to start to go inside as they see this another little group of another uh, dust thing, these dust petals or balls left behind. And as they make their way up into where the scientists wanted to go, they pick up more of these scanners. So they begin to grab the gear and run, rush out as the as. The, uh, the, the soldier picks up the wind, and so does uh, Sierra. However, uh, they were not able to run fast enough, and Lily gets pro uh, caught in the process and ends up turning into dust and ends up dying. Or, I guess that is dying. Uh, and... For lack of a better word, the only person who seems to be the most emotionally invest, uh, you know, upset at the moment was the scientist who led them in there in the first place. So, yeah. 
so uh, the army man goes up to him as um, they end up in this like little barn and he kind of vaguely blames her a little bit but then she's like oh come on I'm just trying to survive and then he's like all right so the three of them move onward and as they move out the sky begins to change and these bells start ringing and then the the view of everything starts, starts to get all wonky and the wind picks up again however it seems to be streamlining from left to right it is not attacking them directly but it seems to be now messing with them as uh, on the other side the soldier man sees his wife across the wind so he wants to use uh, Sira and uh, the woman the scientist wants to uh, calibrate uh, her device that she has with her as uh, he want they both want to go ahead with this little process so the army soldier man moves on ahead and Sarah starts to use his device and he starts to make some room and he does actually make it to his wife however once reaching her the uh, his powers start to fade and they uh, uh, he starts to have a nosebleed and in the process of the wind catching up to the man he turns into a statue and dust off and so does the wife so the boy falls down and Sarah sees the mother next and he claims then that he apparently does not need his little device to go on ahead so he starts to move ahead with uh, the scientist initially uh, blocking off the uh, wind and he moves ahead towards her and as he does Lily also appears next to his mother. So he manages to reach them on his own as the device uh, kind of fails them and then he blocks it off. Um, and he grabs both of their hands and guides them away. In this, the wind clears away and left behind is one simple note, telling them on their next location of where to go. And once they realign and where the scientist discovers where this location is, is actually where the movie ends. Oh boy. Uh... <coughs> This movie was definitely really confusing. Uh, it definitely felt like it was trying to take this self seriously. And uh, the, the, the emo there was some emotion from the soldier guy, but it was kind of, you know, it kind of comes in pretty late in the movie. Um, I was a little caught off guard with um, them taking out Lily like that. Uh, but it definitely felt like this world, the setup as it were, is kind of a little vague. Uh, and I don't know if that's the point of the movie, is kind of like, you know, like, why is this happening? Why is the world like this? You know, questions like that. Um, if, and even more uh, bizarrely, the movie ends with a uh, with a little bit of sequel baiting, which um, is definitely, a, 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 especially these days, that definitely feels a little bit more, a way more of a risk, I should say. Um, so, uh, yeah, I definitely don't see it happening, but maybe it might, I don't know. Uh, as is, I think this movie's okay-ish. Um, like I said, I think there's a little bit too much vagueness happening. Uh, they try to always start to explain, like, how water, like, sometimes is even in that effectual other times it is it's kind of again very vague how the wind 
at the third act suddenly gains this more sentient like power and is able to make these visions or whatever that kind of came out of nowhere um you know is it the boy that has this power is it the device is it a connection of the two uh because you know near the end of the movie kind of doesn't seem to need it at all um uh, well, I kind of feel like Lily's character, it, having her there, was kind of a little pointless since she dies, question mark. Um, you know, it is my belief that if you're going to have a character that is going to die, that you should build up what that character is before you kill them. And they do do a little bit, like... They set her up to have this wishful thinking about, about bringing her father back, but that's really about the only thing we kind of learn about her, and the other only really thing was um, the whole uh, little rhyme thing that she had. Like, she had two moments in this entire movie, and I don't feel like two moments is really warranted of a quick death, and then that's really about it. Um... Like, I'm not sure what that was supposed to set up now. Like, it's a bit too... It's, it's a bit too abrupt. Uh, even for the sake of the movie, I feel like. Um, I feel like if there was more chemistry between the two of them, particularly her with Sarah, I feel like then maybe there could have been something. But a lot of their travels is kind of just... Here's the mission. This is what we gotta do. This is what we're gonna do. Uh, this is, you know, and they do. They do again briefly talk about each of their parents, which is like the only time I felt like they were actually interacting, like, and actually having a connection. And again, it's just that one moment, and I don't feel like that was enough. So yeah, that was definitely kind of just there. Um, I don't know, this sort of thing where like, there's like a lot of setup and a lot of um, vagueness to it. I feel like something like this is more warranted and more, it feels like it's more guided towards a show rather than a movie. Um... That way you can have that time to explore what this world is, start to explore those answers, uh, follow maybe different characters if that's a route that they're going to take. Uh, as it as this movie ends, again, it's open-ended, the, the whole sequel baiting part I mentioned. Uh, so, yeah... This movie's definitely a bit rough, uh, so I'd give it a halfway point a 5 out of 10 and that is my review of The Last Boy and if you enjoyed this review then please feel free to like comment and subscribe also make sure to check out that link in the description I'll head you over to my Patreon page any donations are greatly appreciated and until next time everyone bye bye